This is the Wisteria model in Isles of Collier Reserve, built by Minto. So this home is three bedroom plus a den, two and a half bathroom and two car garage. It's uh, just under 3,000 feet under air and just over 3,100 in total. So as you come through, you can see it's got uh, nice high ceilings as you come in and this main thoroughfare to the living area. But we're just going to shoot off to the right here to show you the bedroom. This is the uh, guest bedroom, I'll call it number one, with the uh, walk-in closet there. Here's the bathroom. And then here is guest bedroom number two. So both sharing this central bath and shower. And then as you come through here, coming off to the left hand side, you've got the washroom leading off to the two car garage. And you've got a third uh, bedroom. Well, actually, this is not, this is really classed as the den because there's no closet in here. It's as big as the other bedrooms, uh, but there's no uh, built in closet in here. Um, so it's not classed as a bedroom. Uh, you could easily uh, make it into a bedroom and if you wished and put a door on it, but it's classed as the den. Uh, but here you've got the powder room on the side and then you're coming through to the kitchen. Now this is where compared to um, the Alamander model, this is where you're picking up the extra space. So you've got open plan kitchen looking out onto the family area and the dining with this central island here, which is big enough um, really for, well, we've got five uh, small bar stools or chairs around there. And you've got the uh, walking pantry and G uh, equipment again, and uh, electric appliances. And this just shows you one of the other styles of uh, kitchen cabinets that we've not seen so far. And then let's just take a look at the master for you. So going through here, quite a decent sized master. Nice big windows there, letting plenty of natural light in. As I've mentioned before, these uh, paneling that you see on the uh, walls and the ceiling doesn't come as standard, of course. Uh, but the high baseboards and uh, crown molding uh, is easily well the high baseboard uh, comes as standard crown molding you can add quite easily they do that for so many of the homes uh, here you've got uh, his and hers closet on both sides and then we come into the bathroom so you've got uh, quite a large walk-in shower twin vanities and the toilet there in the corner and then just looking to the outside, this has really quite a nice big pool area. So again, you have the covered lanai with the grilling area and sitting area. And this has got a really quite a big pool. It takes up nearly all the outside area in the lanai, uh, but you've got a raised sitting area at the back there and a shallow area where you can put some beds and sit in the water. And uh, these, by the way, I don't think I mentioned it, but you see how the lanai has these posts down and traditionally they have the post, but this is what they call the picture frame lanai window. Uh, this is an upgrade, but if you've got a view like this of the lake, it's really worth paying the extra to have that uh, picture lanai window so that you can see out. Okay, so on to the next one.